This series of animations will attempt to explain how a DC source works in theory and will also provide some real-world situations that may affect a given experiment. In this scenario, the voltage of the circuit is represented by the height of the circuit and current is represented by the speed of the particles traveling within the circuit. We'll begin with an open circuit and the source in voltage mode, meaning the user is setting the desired voltage to be output. In the case of an open circuit, no current can flow. This means that no matter the voltage setting, current is not flowing. A source operates under the basic electrical principle of V equals IR or voltage equals current times resistance. Upon adding a resistor or device under test to close the circuit, current flows and the analog circuitry of the source will change the current output from zero as necessary to meet the user specified voltage. Circuit resistance being constant, if the user increases the voltage setting, the source accommodates this change by increasing the current to provide the set voltage. If the device under test, or DUT, increases resistance, the source needs to compensate for the additional resistance in the circuit and therefore lowers the current to maintain the user set output voltage. If the resistance of the circuit is too low, or too low of an impedance is present for the voltage requested, the source will be unable to provide a current high enough to provide the set voltage. This is an error condition known as current limit. If ideal cables existed that offered no resistance, the full voltage drop of the circuit would only be across the dut. However, all real cables have some amount of resistance, and so some voltage is dropped across the cable, resulting in lower voltages across the dut than the actual set output voltage. In practice, the effects of this condition are insignificant in all but a fraction of experiments, usually when cable resistance is approaching the resistance of the dut. In DC current mode, the inverse to DC voltage mode is occurring, meaning the analog circuitry of the source will change the voltage output as necessary to maintain the user specified current. If the resistance in the circuit is increased, the source increases the voltage to maintain the current setting. As the user increases the current setting, resistance staying constant, the source will increase the voltage to meet and maintain the new current set point. In an open circuit, the source will try to provide the current set point. To do this, the circuitry will attempt to apply more voltage than it's capable of producing, creating an error state known as voltage compliance as the source tries to make current flow. Upon closing the circuit, current flows and the source will lower the voltage to provide the current output setting. Inverse to voltage mode, the circuitry provides the proper voltage to accommodate changes in circuit resistance and maintain the user specified current output. In any real circuit, leakage current is present which does not pass through the device under test but goes to ground. Therefore, the current through the device can be slightly less than the output setting if appropriate attention is not given to quality cabling, though any effects will be small and only significant when using current settings below one picoamp. This has been a presentation of Lakeshore Academy. Keep an eye out for the next lesson, which will cover the AC source. If you're interested in receiving more educational, informative, and instructional content from Lakeshore Cryotronics, sign up for our mailing list using the form below.